Hey guys, welcome back to Steeler Nation Australia. I just got done doing my live, so I appreciate you guys who hit that sub, hit that like. If you like my content, hit that sub, hit that like. Steelers are a bad team. Fundamentally speaking, foundationally speaking, from top to bottom, uh, including all the coaches, all the players, or most of the players, I will give some shout outs near the end. Um, and let me know in the comments below what players stand out to you. And I will tell you at the very end what my players are. But overall speaking, the Pittsburgh Steelers are a really bad team. They're a really, really bad team. Coaching, I'm a Tomlin guy. You guys know that. And I will support him. I will support my team throughout this whole process. We still have a chance to, to win, to go to the playoffs. We're two and six. I know it sounds crazy right now, but we have a bye. And TJ Watt gets back. Dominic Dekazi gets back. A lot of players getting back after the bye. Pittsburgh Steelers lose today. At the time of recording, it's 35-13. We're going to lose by a big margin. Pittsburgh Steelers also gave up four TDs via air. Jalen Hurts absolutely killed us. Took us took us a town, and it's fundamentally speaking, is the same thing over and over and over again. The Steelers are never ready. They're never ready to play the game. They have no heart, no passion. The coaching-wise, it's bad coaching. It's, it's, it's you know, getting the, getting the team together, it's awful, right? And that starts with Tom one. There needs to be pressure on Tom one, dead set. There needs to be a more accountability, and the Pittsburgh Steelers don't, do not show accountability um, on this team nor do they show any qualities of leadership or anyone stepping up. They make a big play like Malik Reed did, and then they celebrate when they're down 18 points. Gunnar Oshesky makes a bad play on the, on the, he picks up the football and almost gets a safety. Don't like it. Najee Harris is out there getting the football on a run or catches the pass, and he all he needs is two yards, and he's dancing rather than going forward and getting the first down. Overall speaking, this, this Pittsburgh Steelers team is not ready. Uh, Coaching-wise, I would say straight away they need to sack Matt Canada, but I've said that a million times. Offensive coordinator is not good enough for this NFL. The screens, the 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 draws, the 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 you know the projected runs or predictable runs that happen is all comical, right? Only a few plays work this game for the Matt Canada offense. Was the Trace, Trace Claypool touchdown and the Stephen Sims return that got him a few yards. Now let's move on to Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pick, Pickett is a rookie but he is playing very bad football. But you put him in a system where, and now the final score is 35-13. The system is a bad football team. Mike Tomlin did have Big Ben for all the years. So everyone who says, you know, it was Big Ben's team, it was all this, it was all that. Sure, why not? Okay, go with that. Mike Tomlin is in a position, position now where it will be uh, below 500. This could be his very first losing season. And I get that. This team together is... It's not a team, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a bunch of individual players turning up on the day, putting a uniform on, and trying. We're trying. Trying is a bad word, you know. Trying their best, I guess, to go out there and win. But if you look at the stats, I'll go through some of the stats. Right, I believe Kenny Pickett had less than 200 yards, which is awful. Uh, maybe got a few in garbage time. They can't run the ball. Kenny Pickett, 25, 38, 190, 191. Five yard average, one interception, and six sacks. Offensive line played horrible, but the whole team played horrible. Najee Harris had a pass. Uh, Claypool had a pass. Jalen Warren, six carries, 50 yards. I'll get to him at the very end. Kenny Pickett, 37 yards rushing. Najee Harris, 32, four point yard average. On the day, they had 144 yards rushing. Not good enough. Pat Frymouth had 57, zero TDs. The only TD they had was Derek Watt had the catch, right? Not good enough. Uh, Minka had 11 tackles and one deflection, but overall, secondary got burnt. Um, who was in there before? Killer Witherspoon, Cameron Sutton, all those dudes, they got burnt. Sutton played okay, but they're not playing together as a team. Well, they're not doing it. Miles Jack went missing. Terrell Edmonds got burnt. Ugh. Minka got burnt, right? We have a top team, top number one uh, paid defense in the league, and nothing's happening. Absolutely nothing's happening. And this comes down to, if you start from the very top, you start with Mike, with Mike Tomlin. You start there. Comes down to the coaches. Terrell Austin. You come down to uh, Matt Canada, to Danny Smith. You know, it's all on them. They need to get these guys prepared. They don't do that. They they haven't done. They haven't got a, their team prepared to play. I'd probably say for a good four years. It's been this trajectory of going down. Now, did you go and reach to get Pickett? Possibly. You might have reached to get Pickett. Did you go and reach to get Najee Harris? Possibly. Should you have, should you have, you know, fixed the offensive line? Maybe, right? But where we are now, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas are all done. 
what we chose and what we've done. Done. That's the past. What they need to do is focus on what they have, right? Focus on what they have is skillful players, an average offensive line, and they need to get better. And that's what they don't do. They don't, they, they don't scheme, in my opinion, other teams' defense or offense or anything like that. They play to what, what suits them best and that gets them in trouble, right? Najee Harris, the screen's going backwards. Um, it's all kinds of awful. But it starts with Tomlin and a trickle-down effect. Now, is it on the players too? Yes, 100%. These players get paid millions and millions and millions of dollars. And as fans, we're so passionate to be watching our team. We spend hundreds of, hundreds of dollars on our stuff. Jerseys, um, footballs. Uh, DVDs, whatever, you know, we spend a lot of money, shirt, apparel to watch our team. And our Pittsburgh Steelers do not give out the same effort that we give out watching the game. Okay. And we need to be critical of our team right now. They're two and six. They're really bad. They're really bad. Right. Now I will address to the fire Tomlin people will come up. Fire Tomlin. He's a bad coach. I can see what you're saying. I still support the guy. I think he, I think he can get out of it or well, hopefully he can get out of it. Right. But I don't think that that one bad year is for him to be fired, okay? But if you if you disagree with me, that's fine. If you want him fired, you want someone else in, then I I understand completely what you're saying. Because what they what they put out on 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 TV today was embarrassing. Yet again, another embarrassing loss. The Buffalo Bills, the Dolphins loss, this loss. It's embarrassing. What they're putting out there as a collective unit, they should all be embarrassed. And they should all ha- they should all hold accountability for what they're doing, and they don't do that. They don't do that. Now, overall, I asked in my live chat, "Is this a bad team?" I'm going to ask you guys a question: Is this the worst team in the NFL? Because I put my hand up, I'd probably say yes. I would say this this very well could be the worst team in the NFL. Could be. Now, I want to end with this. I want to end with this. There's a few guys that play some good football today. Frymouth played some good football. Steven Sims played some good football, right? Defensive-wise, no, I can't think of anyone who played well. I want to end with this. What they need to do is take a good, hard look at Jalen Warren. Dead set. Every player in that locker room should walk past Warren and say, mate, what? how do you do it? How do you get pumped up for the games? What do? You, what inspires you to play football? Why do you play football the way you play football? You know? Um, can we grab an ounce of what you're selling, what you're portraying on the field? And how do we how do we get your passion for the game and your physicality for the game? You look back at that game, Jalen Warren should be used more than they can. However, in this game, the game was pretty much done 28 to 10. It was pretty much over. However, the only guy out there that I see trying probably his hardest in the in out of the whole team is Jalen Warren. He runs north and south. He's physical. He tackles well on teams. When he, he blocks well, um, he can escape. He can escape the the pocket and get out to the, for for Kenny Pickett to to receive the football. When he does catch a football, he cuts once. He's north and south. He runs over people. He plays pretty good Pittsburgh Steelers football. He would have been a great part. Jalen Warren would have been a good counterpart back in two thousand eight, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. He would have went well, right? He would have went well even behind Le'Veon Bell. He would have been a fantastic running back behind Le'Veon Bell a few years ago, okay? He would have been great to see. He, in my opinion, is one of the only guys that is playing real hard-nosed Pittsburgh Steelers football. All the other blokes on this team are piss-farting around. Yes, I said it. They are piss-farting around. They are, they are dancing like Najee Harris. They are celebrating on a sack. They are talking talking cheap like Claypool had a big play and then down by 20 points, 18 points starts running his mouth. There is no discipline in this team. The team is hard to watch. And I understand if you want to fire Tom Wynn. I understand if you want to fire Matt Canada. I understand if you want to uh, fire Terrell Austin. I understand if you want to bench uh, Kenny Pickett and put in Rudolph or put in, bring back Trubisky. I understand all these questions because fundamentally speaking, from the top down, it's Mike Tom Wynn. He's bad. He's super bad this year, really bad this year. And it goes down each level, right? And that's, that sets the whole tone for the whole team. And the only guy, in my opinion, on this team right now, one of the only guys, is Jalen Warren saying, you know what, I'm undrafted. I don't, you know, I'm trying my hardest for it. For he's playing for himself and he's playing for the team. He's the guy with a team mentality. Anyways, guys, 
we have a buy. So we're going to talk about this a whole week. Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you, if you, <laughs> I was going to say if you enjoyed this game, you know, but I didn't enjoy this game. But in my opinion, yeah, you know what? Just vent, vent all you want. You made it this far, vent, vent, vent. Type in, type in whatever you want. Just don't call me an idiot. I'll see you guys later.